Hi, Keith. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. Just keep me awake. <sighs> I'll try. Right. I thought it would be appropriate for me to not prepare for this interview and just have a conversation. Because you taught me to improvise. Oh. What was it like growing up in England? That's a pretty general question. Um, I was born in Brixham, which is a fishing town. Mm -hmm. Lots of artists would come round and paint, and I'd go up and say, why did you put that there? Just to, I must have been interested in painting. And they tried to explain to me. And it was a wonderful place to be a kid, because it's a working harbour. And there's not anyone. Now it's a tourist. We, we killed all the fish in the channel, and then, mm. then the boats went over to Canada and killed all their fish. Uh, so that was the end. Then a lot of hungry people, very poor town at the time. The tide came up in our house twice a day, as it should do, as the tides are. Mm -hmm. um, it ha that happened to many of the houses around the harbour, and we were the closest house to the harbour. My father was a pharmacist, used to call him a chemist. Um, and I was so pleased to be born in that place because it was beautiful. Hmm. Then I was evacuated to Glastonbury, which was from the war, which was so boring. <laughs> but the family there was nice and my family wasn't, so I had this like either I'm in a boring place and with a nice family or with my own family in a very beautiful place. And mm -hmm. I prefer to be in Brixham, really, because you can hide around the house or you can stay out. Spent my childhood hiding from my mother, basically. Hmm. I remember reading early, early, I think in the, an early chapter in Impro, uh, about you, you getting a pin in your eye, and then that ch sort of changed the way you... I did get a pin in my eye, yeah, yeah. it's true. Uh, they say don't run with scissors and things, but mm -hmm. this was another boy who pricked my behind with a pin, so I naturally chased him. And he hit, stood around the corner and held the pin up, which is stupid of him. And I ran into the pin. I didn't know. I thought he'd punch me in the eye. Lots of stuff came out, but it didn't hurt. And about two or three days later, we discovered that the pin had gone in. He didn't, he didn't mention it. I think he should have said whoops or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they couldn't have done anything in those days. So I still see double. And one image is at that angle. Oh. Gives me headaches. But... If my good eye got shot out for some reason, I could function with the bad eye. And see the world on an angle. I'd be, yeah, I'd walk, I'd walk at a slope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but worse things can happen to us. This is true.